been a few days since we've harvested the zucchinis. You know what that means. Actually, um, <laughs> that was one of the things that we we got wrong. <laughs> when we um, when we made this bed, we actually planted it quite thick. Pascal had a bit of a vision, um, and I went against it. So what happened <laughs> is she planted a big cucurbit bed, and this bed was unused at the time, um, and she sort of envisaged everything sort of just spreading through there. Um, Mainly and, the pumpkins and yeah. Yeah, the pumpkins. Just so I could push the pumpkins out across all of this. Um, what I went and did is <laughs> made these keyhole beds here and they're really productive, they're great, you know, yeah. we're really happy with them. But now it's sort of hard to access this patch. And the other thing is, is where we've put our zucchinis, now there's a sea of pumpkins, we sort of got to wade in there <laughs> to find things. <laughs> um, and as Pasky just said, it's been a couple of days, like we've, the, these zucchinis at this end are very accessible um, and we tend to get them, but we, we haven't really had a bit of a, a look through. Up the back. Um, and if anything, like the past is anything to go by, we could find anything in there. It's a real land of the giants. So hopefully, hopefully not, but we'll, we'll see. So I'm going to wade in there and um, you can harvest these ones. And this is like a daily thing, like zucchinis. Yeah. Anyone that's owned zucchinis um, or has grown zucchinis, I shouldn't say own them, <laughs> um, cooperated with zucchinis, they'll know what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, so we have five plants and probably next year if we plant zucchini we'll probably just plant two. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're gonna, I've been busy like doing a little bit of a courgette zucchini lab in the kitchen, experimenting with different things. So we'll see how many we've got and mm. I think this week we're just gonna show you all the amazing things you can do with zucchini. <laughs> Having, are you sick of zucchini yet? No, no, I love zucchini. Okay. <laughs> Having said that, um, zucchinis are a great plant if you're a pig owner. That's exactly right. So there is no, there is no too yeah, much zucchini we, here. Yeah, exactly. If we can't eat it all, we give it to the pigs. So. Not everyone's a zucchini uh, pig owner though. No. <laughs> but, uh, um, all, all right. right. You, you have a look here and I'll, okay. I'll do oh. the gymnastics. <laughs> the gymnastics. <laughs> oh, there's lots here. There's actually uh, quite a bit. Nice little ones. Oh, look, I'm going to... I'm going to just jump in there. You haven't got your boots on, do you? No, no, I like gardening barefoot. Mm. Once those corn grow... Oh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. We're going to have pumpkins coming out of our ears as well. Here, Are we? Here's a more moderately sized one. Oh, look, I've got some leaf with it. What are we going to do with it, Pasky? Oh, my goodness. All right. <clears throat> I think that zucchini put all of its energy into producing just those two big, big, big zucchinis. Oh, hang on. Um, and I was just... There's a more moderately I was chatting one. with my friend and he was saying, if you're starting to get too many, start eating the flowers and doing like stuffed flowers and things like that. Yeah. So I think that's what we'll start doing. <laughs> wow, so is that the biggest zucchini you've ever grown? Have you never grown zucchinis before? No, and no, I wasn't really hoping to get one. <laughs> so what is, is that? Um, we can't use that, can we? It's, I think, I think this might food. be a bit fibrous. It's heavy. I think the pigs will really like it. How much do you think this weighs? Three kilos? More. Four. About, heavy. Yeah, three to four kilos, I reckon. Mm. That's about right. So you should th enter it in the local show. <laughs> People will just laugh at us. <laughs> so that was um, a, that's the zucchini. There was another a massive one. Oh no, that was it. Yeah. Um, and this that's was this couple was couple of days ago. Was all of those. So we just must have missed this one when we went looking a few days ago. <laughs> it really was buried over there. Yeah. Like there was pumpkin leaves and everything else like that. So yeah. For two days harvesting. No, so this is like four days, yeah. Oh, okay. But still, that's a lot of food. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get busy in the kitchen preparing. Yeah. Lots of freezer meals, I think. Okay, um, we, we yeah. wouldn't normally let it get to this stage. It's just that um, we have been visiting some friends and um, we have been off farm for a, a little bit. So it doesn't normally get to that glut. We sort of, you know, we can sort of deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> Sort of. If it's like that, um, we got family to give it away to, and, and like we Pasky have been said, giving a lot away. <clears throat> like Pasky said, I don't think you need that many zucchinis, but we got super excited. This is our first real garden. Yeah. 
Um, again, if people have got other novel ways to deal with zucchini, feel free to hit us up in the comments. So the rest of this bed is so, sort of devoted to, we've got butternut pumpkin, we've got um, a Queensland blue in there that our neighbour gave us. These keyhole beds are going really, really well. The, the pumpkin is spreading out and the watermelon is coming in and it's acting like um, a living mulch. Yeah. So that's really great. These are uh, late, late um, seeded capsicums, yeah, peppers if you like to call them that. They had a bit of transplant shock and they sort of... A bit going. stunted. There's an experimental tomato in there, but we are going to be really boosted for watermelons. I think so. This has been a successful bed. Later on we'll have a look um, at revamping uh, the original bed that we did that Paskey hauled just so much lettuce and silverbeet off. Um, they had shallow root systems, it was quite uh, rich down below, but we don't think it has good drainage and good air in there yeah. compared to one of these Esthardine style beds that we've um, done. And we've seen that this is really successful for, for these beans. The corn's really happy in it and this watermelon is absolutely crazy. a video on this bed's coming soon. Yeah, so we'll yeah. do a video on making this because this yeah. is a bed that you make on really poor soil. Yeah. So later on we're going to just slowly revamp um, that other bed. We can have a bit of a look at that and why we think that that wasn't the the total success. It was really, really great for greens, salads, uh, Beach, things like that. Yeah, there was lots of things that grew really well in there. But it's it's not a universally successful no. bed like this sort of is. All right, well let's get to um, feeding pigs and <laughs> making that. making all sorts of stuff. Yep. Let's go. You saw us feeding that massive zucchini to the pigs. These two are quite big as well and what we found is really nice to do with the larger zucchinis is to stuff them. So I'm going to scoop out all this kind of like fibrous seedy bit and then we'll have a nice zucchini boat to stuff it with for dinner tonight. I've defrosted some lamb mints that we got from a local farmer. We actually got a whole lamb from a local farmer and the bits that weren't really usable as chops or roasts we um, we cut off the meat and minced it with our mincer. So we're going to use that to stuff these zucchinis and probably use some of our homemade feta and some of our garden grown mint and parsley and maybe cook some rice and just stuff these for dinner tonight. Okay, so I've done all of the zucchini prep now. I've got these beautiful yellow ones and they are covered in a really light sprinkling of salt and we're drawing out the moisture from these because I'm going to be making a zucchini gratin with these. So basically baking, I'll pat off the salt water and then I will be baking these in a cheesy creamy sauce. I think we'll have this tomorrow night for dinner so I'll just prep it and put it in the fridge for tomorrow night. But I've got to leave it for a a couple of hours while it probably prepare all the other dishes um, just to draw out moisture and you can see that there's drips coming out of it now. Zucchini is like nearly 90% water so when you're doing things like bakes and fritters and things like that you really do need to focus on drawing out as much of the water as you can otherwise things end up just soggy and very watery. So hopefully we get a fair bit of water out of this over the next hour um, but I'll just show you my other things we've prepped. So I've got probably two kilos of grated zucchini here. It was about 10 zucchinis that I grated up and with this I'm going to be making uh, quite a few batches of zucchini sliced and also I've discovered this really amazing recipe from 
Naji at Recipe 10 Eats. Um, shout out to her if you don't know her already. She's a Australian um, home cook and she makes some really amazing recipes and recipe tests really well. So she has a zucchini chocolate loaf and we've made it a couple of times already and it's really delicious. So I'm gonna make it again today and probably make two loaves of that, one for the freezer, one for us to enjoy this week. Um, and what else have we got here? These little scrappy bits. I think I'm gonna chuck these in the pressure cooker with some nice stock, some onion, um, probably, and just bring it to pressure until they're all cooked and make a delicious zucchini soup. And finally, we have our larger zucchinis that I scooped out the really like seedy, uh, fibrous centers and put that in the pig bucket. And these are going to be stuffed. So that's it, we're gonna be making one, two, three, four, five dishes out of zucchini. And yeah, we'll have lots of meals in the freezer as well to grab out. And that's um, put a dent in our zucchini fires for the next day, I suppose. Um, yeah, we've always got family that we can give it away to, but this is gonna stock up our fridge with lots of with lots of meals over the coming week and also weeks if we delve into the freezer. So let's get cracking. <laughs> One really important thing to do with this grated zucchini before we get started cooking with it is just to grab it and squeeze out as much liquid as we can. Just as I was saying before, zucchini, there's <laughs> quite a lot of water in it. And you don't actually, it doesn't, you can use some of this water for this slice and for this loaf that we're gonna make, but it does help to get some of it out. So yeah, we're gonna do this. <laughs> I might be doing this for a while. Okay, so I've got two onions finely chopped, two cups of cheddar cheese grated, and 800 grams of zucchini in here. I'm gonna put the recipe for all of the things that I'm making today uh, in the comment section below. So don't worry about writing anything down, you can just go and check out link below. And where it's not my recipe, I'll put a link um, to that recipe online. So I've got that, I've got our beautiful homemade pancetta. So I'm gonna slice some of this up to put in as well. I need a cup of oil. And I'm also adding 10 eggs. I'm gonna crack a few at a time in the bowl here just in case any are bad, but I think they'll all be fine. So the last thing for this one is some flour and salt and pepper. And I used to make this recipe for the kids that I nannied when I was still at uni. They really liked it. So we're gonna make it for us. And it does freeze really, really well. That's why I'm making a double batch. Actually, it's a double batch, but it'll probably fill three containers because it's quite a large recipe. So I'm gonna put salt and pepper in too. All right, so with that stirred, now that there's all that there is really left to do, is to put it into these containers, uh, into these baking dishes, I should say. And then I'll prep the cake and then we'll bake everything all at once. It's quite hot today, so I've hold off putting the oven on until I've done all the prep. All right, so I've put in cocoa, flour, salt, and now I'm just putting in some baking powder. Actually, it's baking soda, which is bicarb. Mix this together. Just 
two eggs. Some vanilla. Now I'm just gonna pour this all in. Okay, three cups of zucchini. And also 300 grams of finely chopped dark chocolate. And one not so finely chopped bit. <laughs> Oops, can get those broken up. I guess there's just gonna be some big chunks in there <laughs> and that's okay. Okay, so this is my courgette soup. I put, I've chopped one and a half onions. I put all the scraps of the zucchini in there. Um, I'm just gonna put a little under a liter of duck broth in here. I've put some salt in there. And we're just gonna keep it simple. We might add some herbs and um, other bits and pieces once this is all cooked up, but I'll puree it and then season it to taste. I'll probably add some cream and spices, but for now I'm just going to put the lid on and cook it like that. So I've got the zucchini boats for dinner tonight. Um, I'm just going to pre-bake them a little bit to cook the zucchini before we put the stuffing in, which we're about to make. And our zucchini slice and our zucchini bread. So it's been a week since Troy and I were down here and we found that massive zucchini and 
We have actually come down and randomly picked a few zucchinis here and there for friends and family during the week, um, probably three or four kilos. But today I thought I'd just come down and really like have a thorough look and make sure that we hadn't missed any and we'd miss some again. So we've ended up with some really big zucchinis again. This is just an ongoing thing I think for summer. Um, probably stuff zucchinis again for dinner tonight because they're so delicious but I think this one might go to the pigs. Um, I also took my friend's advice and I've gone and cut all the nice little small sweet ones some with the flowers attached and I've been doing some more research on recipes. Um, I found a nice recipe for fermented little small summer squash like this with the flower on the end. So I'm going to try fermenting these. And also we've got lots of chef delicious goat cheese at the moment. So I'm also going to be stuffing some of these and deep frying them and trying that out. So we'll see how that goes. If it's a big success, we'll share it with you. If that's something you're interested in, let us know in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, We'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Um, send us your comments of anything we can improve on. And if you haven't already, if you're new here, please subscribe to our channel, we'd really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you next time.